This video is all about updating Ladybug Tools to the version 1.8. I'm still using version 1.6. I always like to use it for a longer period of time, but I can see that some of you guys already updated updated to the new version and you experienced some issues. There th seems to be some changes in the software. As you know, it's an evolving piece of software. That's why I thought I would go through the whole installation process once again, checking all the required third-party plugins, uh, software pieces we need to install and check all the versions. And then we can do a second video and see what are the new features. It seems like there is a lot of changes, not just within Ladybug, but also Honeybee. Now, before we jump in, a very quick and special shout out to Raphael F. Giretta, who joined, rejoined six days ago. And it's really amazing. I really don't know what to say. He's the longest serving uh, member with 20 months already. This is almost two years. And he just rejoined six days ago. Yes, so really amazing. Thanks thanks a lot and I hope you see you one day in real life. All right. First, you need to go to your Ladybug Tools. Uh, sorry, you need to go to Food for Rhino. You need to set up an account uh, at Food for Rhino and you need to go to Ladybug Tools and there you find the Ladybug Tools 1.8 and then you click, you just click download. I recommend though that you should always read what's written here and then you see what kind of platforms it supports and yeah and then you just click download you will get a zip file which you can extract here and it gives you these files in here so installation instruction just on the top an installer the license an uninstaller and samples for all of these different tools within the ladybug tools honeybee honeybee radiance honey honeybee energy so actually honeybee has three folders here honeybee honeybee energy honeybee radiance ladybug and dragonfly with my grasshopper open i can go here and pull the uninstaller onto here and uninstall i i really l encourage you because it's i think for me it's always easier to start with a, cl a clean slate so i just click here and oh it says has been successfully uninstalled restart rhino to ensure your system is running properly it's funny that it didn't give me any didn't say anything okay now i can restart okay i reopen rhino i go to the folder i go back to the folder and i first open this here this is the installer instruction and please don't miss it a full list of installation instruction for windows and mac can be found here i'm gonna copy this and by the way it gives you another note about pollination put this in here that's the ladybug tools grasshopper installation it has four steps, actually three steps, depending on which system you're working on. Windows installation steps, Mac installation steps, verify your installation and compatibility matrix. They are all important. It's not just the installation. You go here, installation steps, and you have your steps here again, which is very handy. First step, installation. Okay, let's go back here. I go back to my folder and i drag this in here now it sets up python first i have python installed but let's run this again so we're gonna run first the setup python when you click on it it freezes ladybug installation folder created user admin ladybug tools next you should run the installation component below and then optional installation steps include open install open studio and install radiance it for me it's not really optional because you will need that if you want to use honeybee and um, ladybug to the fullest if you really want to use everything then this is not an option all right toggle oops again it freezes and now it says ladybug tools 1.8 has been successfully installed restart rhino to load the new components and library okay that looks good and I close this now you should have here honeybee 
Honeybee Radiance and Honeybee Energy and also Ladybug and Dragon. And you can always see very easy, a very simple way to see the version is if you just pull out any or any of these tools, like for example, the, the wind profile it doesn't really matter. But you can see here 1.8. Whenever you run into a problem, you can have a look here. Sometimes if you, if you don't do the uninstallation, if you don't uninstall and you overwrite things, sometimes it creates two versions of the same. That's or at least that seemed to happen to me. And then you have suddenly you're using older versions or you're loading a script from someone in one and then you have a different version here. Just be aware about that. Okay. Now let's go back. If this is done, by the way, if you are using Rhino 6, you also need to run this set Python path bat file. Um, if you work in a company, you might need for all this, you might need uh, your admin to, to do the installation, by the way. Optional steps, install Radiance and install Open Studio. Now I'm actually there's a third one is the Urban Opt installation. This is for Dragonfly. I tried this uh, as you as you know through my Dragonfly course and it never it didn't really work. It's I think it's very good for if you are in the US then you can use that, but it didn't really made any it didn't make much sense for me. Nevertheless, I'm not going through, I'm not just go directly to the Radiance website uh, and download or, or to the Open Studio website and just download. I will go here to the compatibility matrix. And it's okay, funny <laughs> that here the development, the, there's no compatibility matrix yet for 1.8, which is a bit of a pity. But we can now what we can do in that case. Well, first of all, you could you could have a look here and say, okay, I have you I, I use Ladybug Tools 1.7. That's why I need Open Studio or Open Studio app, the Urban Opt and Radiance, these versions. And they link they lead you automatically to the link to the version you need to download for your specific Ladybug tool. So that's very handy. Um, in my case, it seems like the development version is 1.8. That's supposed to be 1.8, I guess. And then you have, then we need 3.7 and 1.7. Sorry. We need this version of Radiance and then either Open Studio or Open Studio app. This is a bit unclear now. But what I can do is verify my installation. Here's a description of how it works. And I, I will show you how, how you do that in Grasshopper. All right. So we have... Honeybee, you need to go to Honeybee, interestingly, and go to this uh, visualize and Honeybee check versions, check configuration. And yeah, these two, you need these two. Now this works very simple. You just need a panel, a little back tools, grasshopper version 1.8. That's, that's green <laughs> when I click on it. Python 3.10. And by the way, I can see that in the, I should be able to see that in the compatibility matrix. Yes, Py Python 3.10 since the version 1.7. So that's good. Now Radiance. For Radiance, um, it shows here, it, it recognizes the Radiance, but let's see if this is the right version. So I think it's probably still okay for 5.4. I might uh, start to install a new version. Maybe maybe it's a good thing. But it's it's recognized and it doesn't seem to give any error. Open Studio and Energy Plus. Here we have 3.6.1 and it seems like for the new version it's we should install the 3.7. <laughs> now these two items here, General Energy Plus and Open Studio, um, included in the open studio app so instead of op instead of like installing the open instead of the open studio i just install the open studio app by the way here it says rhino rhino 8 i don't have rhino 8 i have rhino 7 but it doesn't matter it's um it says here ladybug is designed to work across several versions of rhino and the exact versions of rhino supported but different Ladybug versions can be found on Food for Rhino. Going back here, you can see, okay, it supports Rhino 6, 7, 8, 9, blah, blah, blah. Rhino 9 doesn't exist yet. 
All right, so how are we gonna continue? Uh, I would probably try to install this first. So Radiance, then we see if it works or not. So right click, features, bug fixes. I don't think it makes a big difference, but why not have the new version? I just use the Windows exe file to just to install it. Okay, that was quick. It should be already seeing the new version. No, hasn't, that didn't. So I will just close Rhino. Okay. And restart. Honeybee, we go back here, check versions, and now check radiance. Yes, so now you can see it's the updated version. By the way, I haven't explained you the other tool. It just gives you, it just shows you how, where the things are installed. That's also very useful if, especially if you uh, don't know exactly where things are or where things should be. If you install uh, a software and you install it in the wrong folder, uh, Ladybug might not find it and then it doesn't work. But Studio application, this is the Open Studio app, by the way. And then Energy Plus is within is within the Open Studio uh, application. And then you have the um, the Open Studio library, standards, and, and so on. But this is very helpful to understand how it's organized. So I go back to my matrix here and look at what else do I need. So I don't need to install Open Studio, but I I want to update to the 1.7 Open Studio app. So let's go here and I'm gonna again use the EXE downloading now. Get to this rather weird installation window that normally doesn't look like that. Anyway, I'll just go here, Open Studio application 1.7, yes, uh, and see. Okay, ready to install, yes finish so I just uninstalled the older version finish that was very quick seems like I deleted things without uninstalling them anyway so that seems uh, done and now I can have a look again let's see here open studio it still shows the old version I need to restart yeah now we have Open Studios 3.7 and Energy Plus 23.2. And we can again have a look on how this is installed, where is it is where it is installed. So it, now it points to the right new Open Studio application, which is the 1.7, and Energy Plus is been within that. So there shouldn't be any problem now, and we should be ready to to use our Ladybug tools, 1.8. 1.8. All right, in the next video, I will try to understand a bit what is new in the Ladybug tools, 1.8. See you in the next video. Ciao.